hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is yuri thank you for clicking i mean thank you you are here again if you're a new subscriber welcome to my channel and if you're an old subscriber thank you for joining with me again um i don't have, i don't really have those lots of viewers but even those few i really appreciate you guys like i appreciate you guys so bad Without further ado, let's get started. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Keep supporting me. Uh, <laughs> so I wrote down a few things. The five notes. Today is very rainy. Like this whole week, it's very rainy. So I, I'm sorry if I broke my promise to upload the other day. So I'm doing it right now. I wrote things that I want to talk about only five points in this video I hope it's not a long video so points number one so people before I get it started um, last in my last video a Tanzanian my fellow Tanzanian comment commented that I am a liar and I'm not a Tanzanian mm. judging from the way I talk and um, I think it's about um, some points that I talk about. I, I really don't know what he meant, but at the end of the day, he understands. And he said that he will subscribe to my channel and keep supporting me and watch my videos. So I'm very thankful for that. Your name was Juma, I think. Juma. Thank you. And guys, I'm, uh, I'm 100 Tanzanian. Like, I'm Sukuma, my father is Sukuma, and my mother is Benna. So, without further ado, let's get to the first point. First point is skinship. Now, I know a lot of you guys, um, no, and a lot of foreigners, um, maybe your countries are okay with skinship, but ours, it, uh -uh. it's a no-no. And especially a person of color like I am, if you come into Tanzania, Please leave those in those. Like, nothing's gonna happen to you, but I just feel that like I, I, I need to talk about this because many Tanzanians are not okay with those shows out publicly. I mean, elders and kids. We do care about elders and kids. So, you won't see many Tanzanians or you won't see many people shows showing intimate moments out on public and intimate moments I, I mean like groping each other kissing each other I mean it's okay with cheek kisses pecs but it's not okay to fully make out like mm. <laughs> it's not okay it's not okay for those things so if you want to be touchy with your partner if you want to show the world especially a, a person of color i mean we we don't really care about because we know foreigners like white people we don't we don't really care about what they show to in public because we know it's like their thing so if you're a person of color please don't go kissing out because people won't know where you're coming from they will just saw you as an ar arrogant person and yeah and point number two is if you want to come to Zania, like you want to come to Tanzania, please do a research about it. I mean, we are a good people. There is a lot of good people here in Tanzania, but not all are good. There are cons out there. So, if you want to come to Tanzania, especially, I want to talk about a transport, transport matter. Like, if you you arrive at Dar es Salaam, maybe or whenever. I mean, in Dar es Salaam because Dar es only in Dar es Salaam we have Uber and taxify or other yeah 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 so when it, if you arrived at Dar es Salaam airport download uber it's a very trustful or oh, taxi taxify it's a very trustful app up and it will get you a ride and especially if you come on budget like these things they're so good like you can you can have your I mean 30 minutes ride and only pay like uh, two or three dollars American dollar dollars I mean in Tanzania you can only pay like 
tisa mwisho F20 yani hapo ndio umepay hakubwa sana so that too and point number three is learn phases like learn phases even if it's a little phases like mambo bei gani and just learn something about swahili learn something because not all people you're gonna find here speak uh, speak fluent english like i am <laughs> my english is sucks but whatever the case learn something simple phases like mambo ujambo kitu fulani kiko wapi where's the hotel wapi nitapata kitu hichi so there are simple phases that, that you can learn and they are so helpful because we Tanzanian people ignore English a lot and phase number point number four is the safest of Tanzania and now I have Halopal Halopal it's an application for um, international friendship I think and mostly people who find me there ask me like is Tanzania safe is Tanzania uh, tell me about your country this video is also for you guys I will give out the link I think for those friends of mine that I've met in Halapo so yeah Tanzania is very safe I mean it's my country and it's very safe only if you stay at safest places i mean you can't you, you you can't say that tanzania is not safe when you stay at um what are they calling english i don't know what what so don't stay alone if you're a foreigner don't stay alone like there are people there there are thieves there are um, Cons, like I've said, yeah, there are bad people. I mean, every every country, everywhere, there are some bad people. Those satan followers, they are everywhere. So, Tanzania is safe. People from Tanzania are so good. Like you can, ex yeah, let me put it this way. Let me tell you one thing. I mean, if you're in Daladala. Daladala, it's a um, buses that we use to commute, to commute, to commute, to commute, to commute here in, in, in Dar es Salaam or in Tanzania, and you are carrying a child. People are gonna stand up and let you sit, especially if you're a woman, or offering to carry your baby for for you. And I mean, those are simple, but to find someone with their right mind offering to kill your luggage your porch or you can just bump your i mean that's my thing whenever i'm in a mendocasi or a daladala and i have so much luggage with me i will just take those and dump it in someone's lap and say excuse me can you hold those for me and <laughs> i will be just like but they are gonna carry it anyway so yeah, Tanzania is the safest. It's the safest place in the whole world because it's my country. It's my place. I mean, this is my home, so it's safe. Just make sure that you are uh, with a right companion and a right place at the right time, doing the right thing. So yeah, guys, those are. Um, the only five four notes that i've wrote down because i don't want this video to get so long let, let me check oh i don't want this video to get so long so yeah we are fun people we are very loving i mean we love foreigners i remember when i was young whenever i saw a white person we call them zungu here i will run like i will run for my life but as I get older, I was amazed. Like whenever I saw Mzungu, I was I, I'm like I follow them with my eyes. Like I'm not even shaped to stare. I stare at you. I will stare at you. But right now that I'm older, mm, not so much. 
like whenever if I start at a mzungu, I will do it secretly like that's it. I will not stir it. I won't do that. So if you have some questions that you would like to ask about Tanzania or direction or anything, just comment down below and I will give you the right people and blah blah blah. I don't know. So see you guys uh, in part three. Uh, yeah, in part three, I think I will record it right now because the electricity just come 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 back. There was a blackout since last night, and sorry for the noises. Though that's my fan. Yeah, Shishengi, thank you for watching. Please subscribe down below, and. Oh.